Hey internet, it's getting through with many mishaps, and last time we did any kind of review of an art uh, related material, uh, we were working with these tiny magnets, and it didn't go so well. <laughs> so hopefully the uh, product we're checking out today will do a little bit better this time. So today we're going to be taking a look at this blue metallic paint and some different ways you can use it with your miniature painting. Prepping for a review video is mostly just getting the product picked out and getting it ready to go. So we're going to do a bunch of different ways uh, for using this paint. We're going to do some eyes and some bases and some armor. It's neat to see the channel get to the point where we're using more intricate and more niche uh, and maybe a little more expensive uh, materials. They aren't a sponsor, but this shout out is for the plaid folk art metallic blue paint that we're using in the video. So I want you guys to tell us in the comments if you've ever used metallic paints, if you've used colored metallic paints, which ones you like the best, uh, or if uh, you think we should go back to mixing our metallic paints with the other regular colors for the colored metals. So first we have the magical effect, and now all of these are in different stages of painting, so a lot of them will need more than just this, uh, like this guy, who that's basically the metal blue is going to be a base coat for him. We did the whole wash, uh, the whole cover in blue as sort of a futuristic statue. Uh, we did the magical effect here coming up, that one I think is probably my favorite of all the other ones. And then our shark. Our archer got a um, kind of a watery blue base, so a good variety with the blue. You guys survived me again. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Internet. We just got our February random holidays plotted out, uh, so you can look forward to a whole bunch of these. Uh, as themes for hopefully some of the videos coming through. For tomorrow specifically, we'll probably take that Magineticist that got the blue eye effect and uh, try and finish him up for the project for tomorrow. So you can watch for that.